water. Hurricane season officially begins Wednesday of next week and the New Orleans area is more protected than ever. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> State and local leaders as well as government agencies gathered today to talk about the risk reduction system officially in place for the metro area. Meteorologist Lee Southwick joins us with more on what that system entails. The New Orleans Hurricane and Storm Damage Risk Reduction System is officially complete. I am standing on the surge barrier. This is just one of the many components of this entire system. I talked to the person in charge of maintaining this system who says this is a world-class engineering feat. Yeah, this system um, is from the East Bank is uh, 192 miles of levees and flood walls. The structure we're standing on today is 1.8 miles long. That's a huge barrier. It's the largest design build uh, civil works project in the Corps history. Many components come together to make this $14.5 billion project. That includes land-based gates that cross roadways and railways and water-based gates like sector gates, barge gates, and lift gates. To maintain just the East Bank, it will cost around $25 million annually. Every day we come out, we exercise the gates. We have a lot of um, checks that we do on fluid levels, and we exercise the structures, uh, maintain the levees, do surveys, uh, and it just takes a, a, a huge group of people on a day in and day out basis to maintain the system. Government organizations, state leaders, and local leaders all feel the New Orleans area is well prepared as we head into hurricane season, which is just five days away. In New Orleans, Lee Southwick, WDSU News.